Hey guys, this is Robert and I'm going to show you how to ship a package using USPS.com. So you go click and ship here. So if you don't have a username or password, you can sign up here. I already have one, so I'm just going to sign in. And here uh, you can put what area you're going to. Here you're putting where you're sending from. In the next field you put where you're sending to. And then choose shipping date if you want flat rate or a weight parcel. And then how much is valued at. So I'm going to fill this out and then I'll be scrolling down here to show you the rest. Okay, so I am shipping to the National Passport Processing Center. So if you're doing the same, same here. So I'm just going to put the information here. You put the address, this is the PO box. And it's in Irving. Texas. The code 75064. I uh, ship it today. Flat rate shipping. Uh, not, it's just papers, not really worth much. And you can select if you want express, like one day, or priority, two to three days. And next, I'll be using a flat rate envelope. Or you can check and see if it's cheaper to ship it another way. So if I use my own box, 750, flat rate envelope, 775, 775, so this is the cheapest option here, per only mail, can't ship it by flat rate, I mean uh, first class, it takes one day to deliver, I live in Texas and the same metroplex so I wouldn't expect anything else. All right, need con signature confirmation. No, it has tracking, so that's good enough for me. Add to cart. All right, so here's my shipping address. Make sure everything's correct again. PO box six four zero one five five. The Irving, Texas, and then zip code is correct. Right, next, next you hit enter your billing information. Next it asks for your credit card information. I'm gonna fill that out along with my address. And then I'm going to pay in print. So after you do pay in print and everything's good, you can print the label with receipt or print without receipt. You can use Adobe Reader to open it or you can use Chrome or any browser. So I'm going to print the label and that is how you... So okay, after you print the label, just fold it up and adhere it to your package and then drop it off at USPS. And that's it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and I will see you next time.